thousands of stray dogs in Atlanta that need good homes. But when a viewer emailed CBS Atlanta about one dog in particular, we had to jump in. Yeah, this dog has been living under an overpass for a year, and the viewer keeps calling rescue groups, but they say they can't help unless the dog has been captured, and that's the problem. As CBS Atlanta's Harry Sandler explains. There he is, right up here. Look right up here underneath the bridge. One thing is for sure. This dog is smart. The best we can tell, he's been here for a year just uh, just surviving. But if the dog were just a bit smarter, maybe he'd know someone wants to help. My wife and I are dog lovers. And uh, we have two rescue dogs at home. And uh, so it's it's kind of near and dear to my heart. Mike Rasmussen remembers the first time he drove by this I-285 overpass. He had just flown in from hometown Dallas to check on the regional office. There was something about this dog. He's a German Shepherd. He, he looks like he's a, a full-blood German Shepherd. Month uh, after month, contact. Mike flew in, drove by, and there was that dog. Same place every time. He looks so bad. He's, uh, he's skinny, and he's, he's been neglected. So, uh, you know, just trying to help. Um, pretty much every day we've done it. Mike's employees are just as concerned. They bring the dog food and water every day. I just, I would just rather see him somewhere else, you know, than living under the bridge, eating trash. Mike and his co-workers keep calling animal control, but every time animal control comes out, the dog runs away. What they really need is a trap. CBS Atlanta called the cab CEO Burl Ellis' office. Once they heard the story, they had help out within the hour. Animal control will check the trap every couple of days. If they can catch the dog, Mike has plans. He's already talked to his wife back home. Worst case is I'll get him back to Texas somehow if he's uh, if he's in good shape. Into cap, Harry Samler, CBS Atlanta News.